How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope so. Uh, getting into the winter. Yep. Yep. I think it's actually raining out here right now, here in Ohio. Uh, won't be too long. That'll be snow. Uh, now the question is, is it going to be a mild winter? Or are we actually going to get pelted? Uh, like some people have been saying, because we're kind of overdue for a bad winter. Um, yeah, I'm kind of weird. Go figure. Uh, when it comes to winter and snow, like if we're going to have snow, I want to have a lot of it. You know, make it exciting. I know that, that sounds bad, but. Yeah, I mean, I'll, you know, yeah, I'm, honestly, I'd rather drive, if I have to drive in snow, I'd rather drive in snow where there's a decent amount of snow to where there's almost like ruts in it because then you can still at least get some traction and stuff. But when you just get that light dusting and then it starts melting and it, and it ices up, yeah, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like driving in that crap. Uh, that's just my opinion. I mean, ultimately, you know, given a choice, you know, I'd like to you know, have no snow until like Christmas Eve. And then for a couple days around Christmas, have some snow. And then melt, and then we can go right into spring. That's, that's what I'd like. But we're in Ohio. That's not going to happen. I'd have to move somewhere if I wanted that. And uh, I actually like living here. I like Ohio. Everybody always complains, well, there's nothing to do in Ohio. Well, there's plenty of stuff to do in Ohio. You take time to look. So, <clears throat> look up. There is a a thing. Uh, I think I first saw it on Facebook, and then I signed up for it, so now I actually get it in my emails, but it's called Only in Ohio. And it talks about stuff that you can only do in Ohio, and like attractions and stuff that are only in Ohio. Uh, it's got a lot of interesting stuff in it. I plan on planning on you know this next year I'm actually keeping those I think I'm actually gonna make a folder uh, a separate folder to put those emails into to, to hold on to them um, so come spring I can find some stuff to, to make some good road trips out of um, you know all right we're diving back into the Marvel DC Cards 1 box. Uh, I'm thinking uh, it's probably looking maybe like uh, we've got about two or three more parts to get through this box. So this again, we're going to pull out. We're just going to pull out some stacks. And we'll just see what we got. I'm not even going to bother trying to pull from each side. I'm just going to pull from, from one and We'll go from there. If it's Marvel, it's Marvel. DC, DC. Maybe it's a mix. Hell, who knows. Alright, first up we got 102 of Cable. Weird cover. What is the deal with some of these weird ass covers? Man? That's just weird. Not a whole lot to it. Cable and it says, oops, I did it again. Was that a song by somebody? Again. I've heard that. I'm thinking... I'm, I'm thinking it's some kind of pop. Pop artist. Cause I remember when my daughter was younger. I think it was somebody she listened to. Um, I don't know. Pop music is not my forte. I like classic rock, metal... Big band music, you know, like uh, Big Bad Boo Doo Daddy and uh, Brian Setzer. Yeah, <laughs> cable. Weird cover. Next, we have one that I have never heard of. Okay, so this would be a key issue because it has an origin of characters in it. It says it right here on the cover. So I know it's a key issue. And it's a number one, which automatically makes it a key issue. But this is 
Shadow Masters, number one, and right up here you can see it's got the Punisher logo, but it says the origin of the mysterious ninjas seen in the pages of the Punisher titles. So I, I don't know whether that's what like the, the ninjas, well, that's what they're called, the Shadow Masters. And this is kind of like the origin of them. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Put that one off to the side. I'm going to have to look at that one. Next, we have a DC title. This is Blackhawk, Book One, Blood and Iron. Is this kind of their, kind of DC's take on like a Captain America type character? I'm just guessing, you know, Stars and Stripes in the background. Looks like it has to do with maybe a wartime thing. He's wearing kind of a, kind of like a military type uniform. Not sure. Never heard of it. Next, we got DC again. It says Yuga Khan causes chaos for the New Gods. This is number eighteen, so it's the New Gods title, number eighteen. Orion versus the Monitors. Don't really say it's like first appearance or anything like that, but. New guys, and it looks like you got Hawkman down here. That's what I want to recognize. Right hand, Hawkman. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, next we have a New Titans Annual, number nine, Bloodlines Outbreak. Anima Attacks. There we go. Just have quite a few of the Bloodlines titles too. That storyline. I probably still do somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. Might have been one of the ones I got rid of. I, I don't know. Next, we have a Superman title The Adventures of Superman. It's a good cover. Number 505 from 1993. Don't think it's a key issue or anything. It's just, you know, part of a story, but I like the cover. Next, we have. I'm waiting for this. They should do a movie of this character. We have Blue Beetle, number 11, with gods on his side. Blue Beetle title. Always like the Blue Beetle character. All right, pull out a few more. All right, here we have number three. This is Thor, son of Asgard. That doesn't look like Thor. Not the Thor I know. This is part three of the Nest of Nori. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure who that is on the cover. I mean, it doesn't look like. I guess it might, that could be maybe Lady Sith, though. I'm, normally, she has, like, armor and stuff on there. So, I don't know who that is. If you know who that is, comment below. Next, we have the Marvel title, number five of the Inhumans, part two of the Culture Shock storyline. Yeah. I didn't really get into the Inhumans. I watched the series they did, um, and it wasn't absolutely terrible, but 
there was definitely a lot of room for improvement with that series. Um, I completely understand why it didn't continue. Um, hopefully, Inhumans will will reappear and, and be a little bit better caliber than they were for that that series. Um, but you know, time will tell. Next, I'm gonna keep this one out. We have number one of Hawkeye. Number one of Hawkeye. Yeah, I really enjoyed the first two episodes of the Hawkeye series. Uh, I think they did ec excellent casting with uh, Jeremy Renner. Put that down there. Snap down there. Uh, casting him as Hawkeye. I thought that, you know, the first time he showed up. Uh, but yeah, I, I think him and, uh, what is it, Haley? Is that her name? Haley? Or, you know, plays Kate Bishop. I think they have absolutely incredible chemistry, the characters in a series so far. Uh, a lot of people are talking about, you know, it's kind of slow going, but, you know, that's how most these series kind of start out and you got to realize they're also they're introducing Kate Bishop so you, I mean I can understand why they kind of start out slow they kind of showed her kind of origin if you will right at the beginning like during the Battle of New York which was really cool um, to have that tie in to the main MCU besides it just being Hawkeye obviously he's automatically tied into the main MCU but I'm interested to where the, I think it's eight episodes, so, uh, you know, we still got six episodes, and, uh, you know, this might be one, I haven't heard whether this is going to be, whether it's going to have another season, um, but I think there's definitely potential there where you could do a few seasons of this, and, uh, you know, maybe have it kind of carry over, you know, to where going forward it focuses more on Kate Bishop as the new Hawkeye, but still have Jeremy Renner in there as kind of like the mentor. But yeah, so far, I, I really like it. And I have a feeling those comics, the Hawkeye comics, after this series is out, um, especially if it continues getting better and better as it goes along, you know, there's going to be a lot of people looking for uh, those comics. So, all right, next we got number six of the Punisher. This is the Marvel Knights series. We have the Punisher. It says violent content on it. <laughs> no shit. The title's The Punisher. What are you, what are you expecting? Puppy dogs can get petty or something? Yeah. It's going to be violent. That's the whole point of The Punisher. Be interesting to see who they bring in for the Punisher too. Uh, I think, uh, oh, what the hell's his name? John Berthenol. Ber I think that's how you pronounce it. Ber Berthenol. I think he does excellent job as the Punisher. Uh, yeah. So my vote is for him. But actually, you know, actually, a lot of the people from those Netflix series, I think, were excellent casting. You know, of course, you got, you know, Charlie Cox is Daredevil. Um, and, you know, there's rumors is he's already kind of shoe in. He's already been cast to reprise that role in MCU. Vincent D'Onofrio is a kingpin. Absolutely incredible. Um, I can't remember the actress name. The one played Jessica Jones. And, you know, and the black guy that played Luke Cage, I think, was excellent. The only one I didn't really care for the series was the Iron Fist. I, I just couldn't get into it. I don't know whether it's because of who they cast in the role or whether it's because of the storyline itself, but yeah. But uh, you know, the Punisher I think Roy did actually the, the guy that they play had played Ghost Rider in those I think was really good. So um, be interesting to see who they bring in to to do those roles in the MCU. Here we have a Marvel Comics presents Wolverine number one hundred. Uh, speaking of Ghost Rider, it looks like it's got Ghost Rider right there. 
rain down at the bottom. I don't know whether this is a, uh, oh wow, it's got, looks like it's got Dr. Doom in it too. This might be a key issue. Might be. I don't know. Put that one off to the side. Well, here's another one. Speaking of, well, I was just talking about the, the series I didn't really care for on Netflix, but this is a Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine. But it says, also featuring Iron Fist. And of course, there's Iron Fist up in the corner. Now, I wonder if is that, is that like two separate little stories? Oh, no. Yeah. It's, it's together. Or wait, no. I guess not. Right, it goes through like one side is that way, and then the other side's upside down. So, oh, do they both ha are they both like that? Oh, yeah, they are. I didn't realize that. Yeah, so he like here's the back of the other one. This one's the Marvel Comics presents Ghost Rider, and it's got him kind of squashing Wolverine. So I'm guessing like both. You know, half the comic is kind of one story or told from one point of view versus the other one. This one actually has two different things. Though. This has Wolverine on one side with Iron Fist. And then the other side is Ghost Rider and Cage with also Black Widow in it. All kinds of people in that one. Here we have another Marvel Comics Presents. This is number 96. We've got Wolverine on this side. And then the other side has Ghost Rider and Cable. Okay. And last one for this video, we have one I never heard of. Number 10 of Motormouth and Kill Power. Show of hands, who have heard of these people? I haven't. It says, off to kill a wizard. Not Harry Potter. Or Gandalf, maybe it's Gandalf. No, oh, maybe it's Sorcerer Mickey. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Never heard of that title. That'll be one that maybe somewhere down the road I'll get around to reading it, but not right now. All right, that's it. That's uh, the next installment of the Marvel DC Comics from a Cards 1 box that I got many, many moons ago. And just now getting around to go through it. So hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe so you can keep in tune with everything else I'm going to be rolling down the path here with. Um, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, look out for yourself and those around you. And have a great weekend. I know, granted, I mean, it's technically half, halfway over already, but, you know, still got half to go. We still got Sunday, so enjoy it. Till next time, see ya!